Hello guys, welcome back to PC1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily PC1 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this beam and to find out the support reactions to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. This is an overhanging type of beam where there is two type of forces acting on this beam. One is the concentrated or pointed load acting at the center of this portion of the beam with a magnitude of 2 kN and also there is a moment acting at a distance of 2 meters from this roller support with a magnitude of 5 kN meter. So the first step is to find out the support reaction. Let's consider this is support A and this is support B. So they will have the vertical reaction to this upcoming load. So it will be RA and it will be RB. To find out the support reaction, I will use this equilibrium equation that summation of moment let's suppose at point B equal to 0 in order to find out the support reaction. And let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. This is just the sign convention for this problem. So the force that creates moment, so we will start from this point. So RA will create the moment about point B in the clockwise direction, in the clockwise direction. So it will be taken as positive. So it will be RA multiply with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this RA to the B. So it will be 3 plus 3, so the total distance is 6 meter. Now, this load also creates a moment about point B, so it is acting downward, so it will create the moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point B, so it will be taken as negative. So minus 2, 2 is the force, and moment arm is 3 meter. Now, the other force that creates a moment about point B is this moment which is given to us, which is in clockwise direction. So it is 5 kN. So it's summation of all the moment about point B equal to 0. Now 6RA is equal to the, if we shift this wheel into the right side, so we got 6 minus 5. So we got RA, 6RA is equal to 1. Or we can say RA equal to 1 by 6. So RA comes out to be 0.1666 kN. Now this is the support reaction at this support, 0.1666 kN. Now to find out RB, we can use this equilibrium equation with summation of all vertical forces equal to zero. Now the upward force let consider is taken as positive and the downward force let consider is taken as negative. This is just again our sign convention for this problem. So the upward forces are RA and RB and the downward force is 2 kN. So upward forces are RA plus RB while downward force is 2 kN so it will be taken as negative. Summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0. Now RB will be equal to the if we shift this wheel into the right side it will become 2 minus RA. So RB is equal to 2 minus RA is 0 0.1666 so RB comes out to be if we subtract this we got 1.8333 kN. So RB comes out to be 1.8333 kN. These were our support reactions. Now to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram, let we consider the reference lines. So these are the reference lines. And now to draw the shear force here and then the bending moment diagram here. So this is for the shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton and then the bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter. So now to start with the shear force diagram, let's consider from this end, we can see that this is these are the reference line for the shear force. Now there is an upward load, upward reaction of RA which is 0.166 kN. So I will move this line from this end to the upward direction because this force is acting in upward direction. So it is RA which is 0.1666 kN. So this is the reaction in upward direction. Now there is no load on the beam. So it will be a straight line. Then there is a load of 2 kN acting in the downward direction. So I will bring this in the neck in the downward direction. So 0 
I will subtract from 2. So, 0 0.1666 minus 2. Because 0 0.166 was positive and this is acting in downward direction, so it will be negative. So, it comes out to be minus 1.8333. So, I will bring this up to the minus 1.833 value. So this is now the shear force here at this point. Now I will make a straight line again because there is no load on the beam. So it will be a straight line. And then there is a reaction in acting in upward direction of magnitude of 1.8333. So it is acting in upward direction. So it will be positive and this is negative. So these will cancel each other. So minus 1.833 with plus 1.833 it will become 0. So it will bring this line up to zero and then there is no load acting on the beam so the shear force will become zero so this is the shear force diagram for this beam now this will be positive shear box and it will be negative shear box because this is acting above the reference line and it is acting below the reference line now we know that the base for this is three meter this is three meter distance and this is also three meter so we can find out the bending moment by finding out the area of the shear boxes. So this is one shear box and this is second shear box. So we will find the area of this shear box. So it is A1 let's suppose and it is equal to the area of this shear box. The area of this shear box it is a rectangle. So it is a height is 0.1666 and the base is 3 meter. So it will be base into height. So it will become point it will become 0.1666 multiplied by 3 meter. So I got the area for the shear box equal to 0.5. So this is the 0.5 is the area. It means that it is the bending moment here at this point, 0.5 kilonewton meter. Because the area of the shear box gives us the bending moment value. So this is the bending moment here at this point. Now this is a negative shear box. So it will be minus bending moment value. So it is the height is minus 1.833 and the base is 3 meters. So we will find the area of this box. So it will be A2 minus 1.833 multiplying it with the 3. So I got here minus 5.50. So this is minus 5.50 and we have here plus 0.5. So we will add these two values. So 0.5 minus 5.5 we got minus 5. So here we will get minus 5 value for the bending moment at this point. Now again there is no value here up to this end up to 2 meter. So the bending moment will be a straight line. Again there is a positive bending moment of 5 kilonewton meter. How we can say that this is positive because it is acting in the clockwise direction and if you look to this force which is while acting in the upper direction so it was acting in the upper direction and we assume that it was positive. So this was a positive value for this a shear box. So similarly this is also acting in positive direction. So it will be taken as positive. So it will close the box here at this point. Because it was minus 5 and this is plus 5. So it will cancel each other. It will bring the zero value of the bending moment at this point. And then there is no shear force. So there is no bending moment here at this point. So this is the way how to calculate and draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.